Uh, we do have to get to our next guest, and this is uh, really exciting uh, for us. They've been on the show. Well, one of them's been on the show once, and uh, the other has been on the show a few times. Uh, but it's always nice to see them. Uh, first, we have uh, Bone Queef. What's up, motherfuckers? I'm back. <laughs> it's me, your girl, Bone Queef. Bone like a dog and queef like a pussy fart. Yes, Bone Queef. So nice to see you again. Yeah, Scott. How you doing, boo? It's good to see you, baby. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, and you, uh, uh, you you're here with another guest. I'm not sure if you're here together or if you're here uh, coincidentally at the same time. We're here time. together. This is my sister. You met her before, too. This is your sister. Uh, <laughs> please welcome back, Chief. Greetings, Gamshu. <laughs> I've just flown around the world to get here. All the way from the Ozark Mountains. Did you see any drone strikes? <laughs> around the world. Excuse me? See any drone strikes on your way A here? A ton. Thank you, Obama. I love I, you. <laughs> So, Bone Queef and Chief, I, I guess I never realized that you were sisters, but I mean, your names rhyme, and a That's lot of people right. like to do that with their with naming their children. Yeah. We were separated at birth. Mm-hmm. My I mom am- was like, this one's going to be called Chief, and this one's going to be called Bone Queef. Bone like the shit that's left when you done it in ribs and queef like a pussy fart. <laughs> and wait, you're twins? No. <laughs> okay. We were just so your mom was, at birth. but your mom was not naming you. Uh, you were separated at birth, meaning you're twins, and no. you were separated. We're two years apart. <laughs> okay. yeah. So you were separated at the younger one's birth. Yes. Okay. Yes. And your mom named you at the same time, though. That's right. Yes. yes. I'm older, but I did not have a name for two whole years. She wow. waited. Waited like, and waited. I don't know about this one, but when I poop another one out of my front, I'm going to know what this one's name is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My mother waited just like I waited in the Himalayas for one young Carmen San Diego. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we we uh, first heard from you um, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, but have you tracked down Carmen San Diego? Yet? I still have yet to track down that buzzling beast. <laughs> But I will. I will find her. And as soon as I find her, I will lock her up in handcuffs in my own personal Acme prison cell. Lock her up. Lock Lock her her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. up. Down with Hillary. (laughs) Thanks, Obama. I'm with him, whoever, anyone but her. Yeah, as long as it's not a her, I'm with him. (laughs) This is not what the show is about. <laughs> Maybe it should be. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know, people uh, are tired of being pushed around. You gotta I guess they're tired of the Pod Save America, and we, we need some sort of, like, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> equal time. Uh, God bless America. All right, all right. So when did you guys find out that you were uh, uh, sisters? It was we did the twenty three and me shit and it just it said <laughs> this this chick is your sister, go find her. So then I took a quick little trip over to the Himalaya Ozarks where I found my girl over here. She was chilling looking for this motherfucker Carmen San Diego. She ain't been found her, but guess what? I knew where she was. You oh. know where Carmen San Diego is? Hell yeah. That's ridiculous that she won't tell me. <laughs> hey, you won't you won't tell her. Nah, no, no, no. But so, I enjoy it. It keeps the magic. If I find where she is immediately I won't be able to have a business anymore. That's right. My whole business model is surrounded by finding Carmen San Diego. What about Rockapella? Do it. <laughs> Do it, it Rockapella. Did you check from Kiev to Carolina? Yes. Okay, that's all because I Because she sneaks around the world uh, from Chief, Kiev to Carolina. Chief, I have a question about your business model. Uh, who is paying you to find Carmen San Diego? Nobody. <laughs> The fever in my own heart. I lust after those milky white breasts. Yeah, that's one thing that we found out last time you were on the show. You're, you're somewhat obsessed. Chief trying to fuck Carmen San Diego. Shut up, Queef. Maybe that's why she's in hiding. Yeah. My name is not Queef, it's Bone Queef. I told you this bone like I ain't got a jealous bone in my body and Queef like a pussy fart. I barely know who you are. <laughs> we are sisters. Have you seen Carmen's titties when she keeps that red coat on? Exactly. So that's my main mission. <laughs> is to take that to red coat take off? that red trench coat off. What if she don't have tits under there? You ever think about that? Like, what if she just got, well, like, transparent orbs? she has two orbs? tiny red coats. <laughs> where yeah, she's, just she's like, see-through all the way to the back. Blows. It's like, y'all know Top Shop be selling them jeans that just got the transparent kneecaps? Like, yeah, what if she like just the has, so fine jeans. Right, 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 yeah. What if Carmen San Diego just has transparent boob region? <laughs> like you, you just see, see the back. Organs? You just see through. <laughs> yeah. 
Then she's got two hollow pits where her chest is supposed That's to be. Right. And her spine, the T3. Oh, how lucky Ooh. would that be? Well, then my life's work will be null. <laughs> So is that the only part of Carmen San Diego, Bone Chief, that you're interested in? Bone, Bone Chief, Chief, how dare you? <laughs> Don't That's associate me with this. celebrity couple name. Believe it. <laughs> Hashtag Bone Chief, make that shit. Hashtag Bone Chief, by the way. Everyone, it's going to be trending <laughs> by the of end of today. It's a bit of a clumsy toe. <laughs> It's Wait, you don't like, really. you don't like it's sort of a perfect portmanteau. You don't like portmanteaus either when they're clumsy. Uh, you know, I could dig a leave them. Uh, <laughs> That's a reference. <laughs> <laughs> bon, uh, bon Queef, what, what have you been up to? I mean, Ooh. obviously, you found this out and you uh, tracked yeah. Chief yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, so I've been looking. Yeah, I've been trying. Honestly, it's been a bit of a personal journey for me recently. Mm-hmm. You know, I have been alone in this world and I was like, I need to find my family, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I did 23 and me. I uh, found Chief. I also found out that our our last name is Saint Gynecologist. So Your last name is Saint Gynecologist. That, that's right. I am Bone Queef Saint Gynecologist. <laughs> I chose not to take it. <laughs> so that's not canonical for you. No. No. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a pretty big, pretty big uh, couple of weeks for me. Uh, yeah. So, um, I just, real quick, your mom never mentioned that someone was born. Which one of you is older? I'm two years old. Yeah, so your mom never is. mentioned uh, th- that you had a young like a younger sister no, neither of us grew up with her well yeah that's that's what I was oh, wondering because she got you rid of you with two yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. she came me for two years had another one was like I do not like the look of them together and, and got, got rid, rid of, of both them. it <laughs> just happened to be on the same day that's right so on your birthday on my birthday August 6 1951 <laughs> Jesus wait right. Bonequeef you were born in 1949 yeah, yeah black zone crack motherfucker <laughs> Indeed, it does not. But I tell you what does crack. You're 69. That's right, baby. The best number. <laughs> Same kind of gynecologist. Yeah, bone queef, same kind of gynecologist. Bone, like, ooh, hold up. I got a bunch of them. Um, <laughs> bone, like, sticks and stones might break my queef like a pussy fart. Saint, like St. James, and gynecologist, like a pussy doctor. <laughs> oh, boy. The queef is always pussy fart. <laughs> no matter how many bone analogies she comes up with. <laughs> But also, people are more familiar with bone than queef, like, as a word. <laughs> like, to explain, bone is the part I think everyone's picking up on. <laughs> so are you guys going to get together for family reunions now? Are you looking at the St. Gynecologist family tree? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. We're trying to find everybody that's in our family and simultaneously look for Carmen San Diego. So it's a bit of a two-pronged uh She path. might be at the family reunions. Who you knows? don't know. I did not want this woman to help me find Carmen San Diego. You want to know yourself. I have always used preteens <laughs> because they are the sleuthiest of sleuths. They're very nosy. Very that's nosy. Right. By the way, you you say you're helping, but you know where she is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a 69 year old woman. I know shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know where that bitch is hiding. It's in a log cabin, but I ain't going to tell you where. I don't want to hear. I didn't even <laughs> want this meeting. I only took the 23 and Me quiz because one time <laughs> that common San Diego. <laughs> it's so funny that you can answer 10 multiple choice questions and they tell you who your family is. Just send in the Scantron. How much of it is trivia? <laughs> All of it. Five of the, five of the questions <laughs> are just <laughs> literally all trivia. It's ten multiple choice <laughs> trivia questions, and at the end they say you have a sister. Yep. And then you swab your DNA. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the only reason I did it was because one time Carmen San Diego spit in my mouth. <laughs> so you are, wait. So you you hot. have met Carmen San Diego in person in the past? Not met like hello, how do you do? Just in passing. What she said, what yeah. So Stop just right there. you were passing by each other one day. Yes. She spit into your mouth. <laughs> it was on the island of San Tropez, but in what the if, south of France. But what if her spit is actually the one that's assisted with Bone Queef? <gasps> oh, twenty three and who? <laughs> twenty three skidoo. Wait, how much longer after the spit in your mouth was the quiz that you took? Four, it, it was, it was a lot, that was in the 70s. Oh. <laughs> Three didn't come out too recently. Common San Diego do got strong DNA. Maybe that shit was living in there for 35 years. I try everything I can to find that common San Diego. What have you tried? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you say you've tried everything you can think of. It's what just you- a classic follow-up question, Chief. <laughs> 